I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise is called Siamese Force because we're going to pre-select six categories and force hands in those categories. Why, you might say? This is an exercise that will force you to navigate the whole card instead of just playing your favorites. Or if you attend tournaments, you can practice winning a prize because at tournaments, a lot of times, they have prizes for the first hand in every category on the card. I'd say that's a good reason. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Wins and Dragons, like numbers, year, consecutive run, odds, edition. If I roll an even, we're player two. If I roll an odd, we're player one. Here I rolled a six, so we're going to be player two. Player two, 27 tiles. Wow, look at that. One, two, three, five. That's a four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five through nine. Five, six, seven. We do have jokers. There's no quint up there for a prize. We want to force hands in these categories. So let's see. Five. Five. We have two fives. Two fives. For like numbers, we need all three. Now we could technically use this as one of the missing fives and use these dragons for like numbers, maybe. Let's see if we could do something different, though. The winds and dragons, super light. I don't think we could play winds and dragons this time. So let's just take that off the table. Year, no white dragons. We do have two, one, nine, though. Two, one, nine, and east, west. Two, oh, three, four. Three, four, okay. Seven tiles, that's pretty light. Two, zero, oh, see, we only need one pair of twos. Yeah, I don't think I would do that. I think we can do better. So I don't think I would do a year hand either. Like numbers, consecutive run, odds, and addition. We have no flowers, so I would not consider addition. I'd say like numbers, odds, and consecutive run. We do have five through nine, no gaps. We do not need a pung, though, of fives. One, two, three, four. If we play consecutive run here, we should do something different here. We have twos. If this is consecutive run, we have twos, but no, no other twos. So maybe what we should do is play like numbers with fives and the dragons. These would be the five dots. Pairs, pungs, five dots. I don't like dedicating my jokers like that, but we gotta come up with something here. What about if we did like numbers here and then consecutive run 
this is difficult. We have no flowers. I was thinking we could do four, five, four, five with dragons. Or four, five, four, five, second from the bottom under consecutive run, but we have no flowers. No flowers. That's a bit painful. We do have a lot of six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, Joker bait. That's a lot of Joker bait right there. Let's just count discards. Oh, yeah, that goes too. Eight discards, Joker bait, consecutive run, like numbers. This is pretty weak. This might not be too bad, but this pretty weak for consecutive run. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, five. I was thinking two, three, four, five, but we have no five dots. That one I was thinking about is the fourth hand down under consecutive run pairs, two, three, four, and then like numbers with fives. But really what we need are dots. We're missing dots. We only have one dot right there. So any three suit combination is going to be really challenging. And the fact that we have no flowers. I think this is what I would do. Just discard these, gather fives and dragons, gather six, seven, eight, nine till the discards are gone, and then build around the multiples. That's how I would play this. So I'm going to call it for like numbers and consecutive run. If you would do something different here, right? Pull one and what you would do differently. I rolled an eight, so we're player two. All right, here we have Pair East with Winds and Dragons. That's a pretty good collection of Winds and Dragons, but we have no West. Here we have two, three, five, seven, nine, three, five, seven, one, three, four, eight singles, but we've got multiples. We do have a lot of five, seven, nine multiples. If we had dots, I would be tempted to play a pair hand, but we need to focus up here. Let's do something with winds and dragons and odds. Winds and dragons, maybe north and south with dragons or east and west with dragons. For the wind and dragon category, the east and west with dragons or north and south with dragons would be the third and fourth hands, one or the other. I would just gather. Then down here, let's see which which uh, odd hand would be good. We have five, seven, five, seven, seven, nine. That would use all the multiples, except this one. 
Joker bait. Joker bait. Five, seven, seven, nine. But I would hold all the odds, I think, because there is the bottom hand concealed, one, three, five, five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine, one, three, five, or five, seven, seven, nine. I would still hold all those. Here's the three again. If we get a one bam, we could do one, three, five, five, seven, nine, the concealed hand. So I would just hold all the odds, discard the evens, try to make that maybe the concealed hand work, or five, seven, seven, nine. Gather all the winds and dragons here. So that's what I would do here. Winds and dragons and consecutive are the odds. If you would do something different, write pull two and what you would do with these tiles. Rolled a nine. We're player one. Okay, one flower, pair east. One, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five through nine. One, two, seven, eight, nine, two, three, five, eight, nine. Now, we need to use this flower for addition. So that's where we're going to start. One flower, maybe those jokers. Oh my goodness. Okay. So the multiples, we have one, one, one multiple with the number tiles. And the one that goes with sevens would be five and 12. So we have a 12, 12 and a five. There's the addition hand, seven, five, 12, mixed suits. So we've got addition. Now we need to make the year work. News, get rid of that. White dragon, get rid of that. Here's an eight. Twos, one, nine. Here's a nine. We're using our one, two down here. Seven, five, twelve. Seven, five, option. Seven, five, twelve. Ten discards. Okay. This is what I would do with this. I would discard all of these. Play news with 2019. Hold year tiles because there are three other options probably the top hand or the second hand because we have no flowers so maybe the second hand the one suit hand but we only have one white dragon so that's going to be pretty unlikely down here addition seven five twelve or seven five twelve. If we go with seven five twelve, we could maybe use the one two up here with the year hand for maybe the first hand. 
So I would just hold all these tiles, discard those and see what happens. We got gaps, but the foundation is there. Gaps here, but not here, seven, five, 12, there's no gaps. It's just very light with flowers and a multiple here. It's doable. If you would do something differently with these tiles, let me know. Specifically though, has to be a year hand and like not, or addition. You know what? Maybe hold the eights and the threes because we could maybe do eight, five, one, three, but really we're trying to build around that. I think I would stick with the plan. Stick with the plan. Seven five twelve year hand with news. Nah. If you have not tried to play Siamese Mahjong yet, I challenge you to give it a try. It really is a lot of fun and it is very challenging. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Siamese Force, for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.